I'm Christine Brune, University of California, Davis, and I'm the director of the Center for Consumer Research. There's some real myths in regards to foodborne illness. One is that the taste will tell you if it's bad. Not so at all. Things with listeria, E. coli, salmonella, they taste great. Another thing is once I've cooked it, it's going to be okay forever. Not another myth. If you've cooked something, you've got leftovers, you've got two hours to get those leftovers in the refrigerator and get them cold. And when you put them in the refrigerator, don't put them in in a big container. You've got something left over, it's got to get cold fast. So you need to repackage it in thin containers and put it in the fridge so the air circulates all around. The uh, third misconception is that you can tell by your eyes if something's adequately cooked. Not so. You need to use a thermometer. Recent research from Kansas State showed us that a quarter of the burgers turned brown before they reached the recommended 160 degrees. Fortunately for us, most foodborne illnesses are not going to kill us. Most common ones happen within a few minutes to a few hours and we feel dreadful but only for about a day. But if you have one of the more serious ones, it takes longer to appear maybe two to three to five, some of them even two months before the, your symptoms appear, and you get really sick. You've got to make sure you don't accidentally contaminate things through your handling, and you've got to be sure if you have something that has bacteria that's harmful on it, that you destroy that bacteria and you don't spread it around your kitchen. The most important thing is to wash your hands. We recently did a study where we videotaped people in their kitchen, and we found that only half of them washed their hands before starting to prepare food. And then you also need to keep your kitchen spotlessly clean. Um, wash the cooking area, the preparation area, wash the knives, the cutting boards, the utensils. Keep your refrigerator clean as well because bacteria can grow, albeit slowly, in many environments including inside your refrigerator.